okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna work on my favorite car the RX-7 So today it's gonna be a quick video just to show you how uh, Gas pedal is installed. We also gotta do some maintenance. I Bought some tires in the past with the FD and they were too small. So I'm upgrading the rear tires Sorry upsides in the rear tires to a bigger tire in the rear. So you probably already saw those so I'm gonna take those to my buddy Mahale a Honda so he can mount those for me and then we can get those installed and then I'll show you how right I'll show you how to install the JP3 Motorsport um, gas pedal and it's gonna be a quick easy day so let's get to it and I'll see you in a bit before I get ahead of myself I gotta remove the rear wheels put them in the back of the truck let's load those up with the tires and get them delivered to my boy Mahale Just dropped up the wheels the tires uh, I'm away on my holiday to text me in a couple hours for those to be picked up and we should be good to go and then we start on the gas pedal see you in a bit the tires and wheels set up back for Mahale thank you Mahale I appreciate your work with this baby looking way better now Woo. sheesh more meat on that thing so and more stickiness so that's what we want so let's show you the other one real quick looking way better love it so let me put this on real quick and then we'll get into working on the on the gas pedal because I know that's what you, that's what you're here for the gas pedal so let's let's fast forward put those walls on and then we get to go been installed they look amazing and again I was going up on a uh, tire size just because of the fact that I was running 225 40s in the rear on the 18th they look kind of hot boyish and I was just experimenting since I never been able to try a fitment on an FD so it looks way better now so if you want to run 235 40s on 18s on your car on on an FD this is what how it would look just so you can have an idea. I know it's kind of blurred out, but 
as soon as I put it on the floor, you should be able to see a little bit more in. I am planning on running about a, a degree and a half of camber, so that should set it up really nice in the rear. In the front, I'm running up at one degree, just so I can be able to fit the midi tires that I'm, I, I am running. So, hope you guys like it. Let's get into the gas pedal. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Woo! Alrighty, guys. So here we are. This is why you're here. It's a very simple, in, a very easy, simple install. So let's get right into it. I'm grabbing a 10 real quick out of my tool set. A couple extensions. Oh, give me one second and set you guys down. Grabbing a couple extensions just because um, I believe it's a 10, but it's a little bit farther away from where we're going to be working on. So, like I said, if you have a nice seat, make sure you cover your area so you can be able to work with no issues and why you're here is because of this part right here this little baby so it's a very simple very simple easy install uh, if, if you can see in there without the light shining you you have two bolts and I, like I said I believe they're tense I'll check right now oh my lights is out let me grab another light give me one second Alrighty, we got a new light. Sorry about that. So, okay, you have two tents right there, one on the left side and one on the right side. And then you have the throttle cable right on, right on the top. Um, there's multiple ways of doing this. Uh, you can loosen up your uh, you can loosen up your, uh, your throttle cable from the engine, but then you gotta put it back to normal, adjust it, and all that. So, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to avoid going that route. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna just unhook it, unscrew it from here and here. And as soon as I take that out, I will take my little dowel pin on top and I'll remove the cable. And then the same way that you take it off, it's the same way you're gonna put it in. Like I said, it's very simple, very simple, very straightforward. Um, we are gonna have to grab the bracket and, and then modify it to fit right here in the middle. Not modify it, but put it together basically. So I'll show you that, let me get to it. Let me set you guys somewhere where you guys can see and then we go from there. Make sure you put your bolts where you can see them so you don't lose them. And then you're just gonna try and pry it out little by little. All right, once you have it there, like I said, you're gonna have a little bit of freedom up here. So then you can just turn it around and then you have a clip you can grab needle, needle nose pliers. Let me see if I can fit you guys in there so you can see right on the I don't know if you can see that, but right where that little neon green where the cable is going through, you grab your needle nose pliers and then you just pinch that plastic. Be careful not breaking it because then you're going to have a horrible day, okay? Give me one second, guys. Oh. just like that so just make sure everything is, in, is intact nothing's being lost so when you put it back you can put it the same way that you took it out just wanted to let you know if you're big like me you're gonna have a little bit of issues trying to get in there maneuver and get it and get that pedal out so let me give you a little bit up there I know I haven't talked much about it so a reason I'm going with this and I probably mentioned it earlier is because uh, Mazda decided to cheap out on the most important part of your uh, system, let's call it that. They decided to just only do the gas pedal plastic compared to everything else in your vehicle. If you notice, it's metal. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that only the right hand drives option come with a metal 
a, a metal deck pedal. So if you have the left hand drive option, which is the US option, um, they come with the plastic deck pedal. So JP3, he makes amazing product. He does make the, the dead pedal in metal. He makes the gas pedal in metal, but he can also make it like so. I got the wire option, so he gives you two options. You can either get the OEM option, so you can look OEM, or you can get the white one. I had big feet, so I went with the white option, so that's why you, you see this one here. So, ain't nothing much to it for what it is. It's a great uh, product quality. Um, I just love his product. I love what he does for the community of the RX-7 and he put, puts out great things. So, like I said earlier, just make sure everything's the same. It makes sure everything's the same. All we have to do is take this system apart the same way you take it out, the same way you're gonna put it back in on this one. Um, looking at this, I do wish that this piece was metal as well. We don't know how much tension that holds, so it's a trial and error, right? So we gotta try it, but I never heard of too many people breaking gas pedals or anything like that. So maybe it's just for more than anything, more for the looks, but don't quote me on that. So let's get into it. I'm gonna set you guys up and then we can figure out how we're gonna pass this over without damaging anything and breaking anything. I just wanted to update you because uh, from the last clip, I don't know if you noticed, but I was having a lot of struggle taking this clip out, which it goes right here. Just be careful with the clip. You don't want to break it or you don't want to break the plastic here, okay? So I just took it. I just took the clip out. All you have to do is just push on right here and then this will come apart. Just make sure, be careful with the spring. It doesn't pop off on you. Once you take that out, you can take this out slowly. You have your spring so now all you want to do is just take it out and again it's going to be the same exact setup so always look at how you take things out because that's going to be the same setup so you see i don't know if you can tell um, my apologies right right in there right in here that's where your piece from the spring is going to go in so we're just going to put it just like this and then your gas pedal is going to come in there and then this part it's gonna go to the back of the gas pedal right there. I don't know if you can see the little cut, the little indent right there. That's where it's gonna go. So give me one second, let me put it together. Once you have that tension, you're good to go. Put your clip back in there safely without breaking it. You can push it in by hand or you can grab a flathead and you can push it in. Okay, right there. And then everything's good to go. Give me one second, my camera's dying. I'll be right back, Alrighty, guys. boys, so I don't remember what was the last thing you saw on the last clip. Uh, because my camera died, but I remember us taking the pedal apart and putting it back together. So I did show you that the best way I could. Um, I noticed that I did, one thing I didn't show you was that this had grease already. So what I did was um, I grabbed some of my white grease because I didn't have the conventional grief, grease, and I put it on just on the. Um, on the spring so that doesn't tense up after a while but like I said as long as you have as long as you have some tension on there and it goes the way it's supposed to go you should be good to go so let's get this installed and good to go okay remember guys we're gonna do everything backwards 
the way we took it out if that makes sense so the same way that you took the old pedal out you're gonna put it right back in okay so very simple we're gonna reach sorry if it gets dark real quick i just gotta get in here but we're gonna start with this with the cable on top make sure it clicks in without breaking it of course that's the biggest thing with some plastics one second guys Use your hands first before you you put a a lug nut or screw in. You don't want to strip anything. And just hand tighten it for the time being. Same thing on the other one. One second. The cable slice is slightly in. I just want to make sure that I have this base in completely. I don't want to put too much pressure on that clip and break it. So now we should have even distribution of the cable. So let me put this clip in real quick. Oh my goodness. I've never been so scared in my life of a clip. I don't want to break it. Alright boys, give me one second. I'm going to put you guys on a little pause so I can put this in without no issues. Give me one second. I'm trying to give you guys a shot but it's so hard with my big ass head being on the way. I decided to leave the camera rolling for you guys just in case you guys are having the same issue as I am. Uh, you guys can just look at everything that I did and then go from there. So let me zoom in a bit on top so you guys can see what I'm dealing with. And like I said, it's that neon green uh, little tab that we're having issues with. So I'm gonna grab, I already put one side in. I'm gonna grab my little plastic here and just push it in little by little. Boom. If you heard that click, that means that it's in. Uh, sometimes, since you do have a different pedal now, you might make you might want to make some adjustment up up, up up in the front by the engine, so it can be tighter. I do have some slack right now, since I changed the pedal system. So I am gonna tighten up front, and then you should be good to go. But it's all to your liking. So I can I can tighten it to how I like, how I drive my car, or what my car needs, of course. Uh, you make sure you tie it to what you need and what would you like on your vehicle. So there it is guys It's that simple. Just make sure you um, Tie your bolts on the, the two bolts and just make sure you put this clip on top where my finger is at Very slowly and carefully so you don't have any mishaps any issues in the future Okay, and you don't want to break that clip. I don't know if it's accessible I haven't looked it up online yet if I can um, find that clip, but if we can't find that clip it's gonna be a long day for you right so try try to avoid not breaking it you so uh, put one side in because it's it's a it's a clip like this and it has space between the fingers like my finger does all you have to do is just put one side in and then just grab a little bit of leverage and push it in from the other side and you should be good to go that was the best way i'm gonna give you a close-up let me move this light for you guys so you guys can have some good light and you guys can see in there so that's the corporate right there. That's your whole setup. And I can agree. I mean, I mean, we both can agree that it looks way better now compared to the before. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I put a previous already, so you can compare. So yeah, there you go. If you have a left-hand drive and you do buy this from Garage Alpha, make sure that you get the dead pedal. Uh, the only two pedals are gonna come metal will be this two and then this one will come plastic 
this is the white option so everything it's where it needs to be that's how it will look if you do get the white option on your vehicle so so you can see but other than that thank you guys for watching the video guys i appreciate it i hope it was an easy quick install for you and you didn't have too much trouble again thank you for watching very simple very stylish and everything looks way better i know i should clean it up for you guys but i'm just so excited it looks very good now under there and now i can say that my driver's side matches my passenger side sorry for the mess i am currently cleaning the car and adjusting some things under the glove box so yeah you're looking great awesome have a great day guys enjoy it